everything that I do is honest and kind of, you know, from the heart and uh, just a reaction of me kind of documenting, documenting things really. It's not coming from it an inspired angle what I'm doing, it's me documenting my view on kind of this grey Britain we live in and kind of, you know, just trying to kind of put my, my angle from it. I'm not from an art background, or, you know, I'm not from the art world, you know. Uh, I wouldn't class myself as an outsider artist. I mean, that, that, that name has been kind of brought up quite, quite a lot. I mean, I guess, you know, that whatever I am, you know, will, will be made up for me. Everything that I've kind of done from, from day one it is, is, is personal, you know, through love, loss, you know, and happier times as well, you know, I, I, do, I do try to, uh, to put some humour. And there is, you know, humour in, you know, 50% of, uh, you know, the, the works. After the Jesse piece, I guess, you know, I, I did the, the I Loved You. The story behind that was uh, when I'd first moved to London, uh, just split up with my girlfriend. As a last ditch effort, I kind of, you know, I spoke to a few of her friends and everything. I was like, what do you think of me climbing up onto her house where she just moved into and painting the words, I loved you, above her new bedroom window? You know, do you think that's a bit creepy? Do you think, you're, you know, and it was like, oh, you know, I would love it if somebody did that to me. Oh, I would love it, I would love it. You know, so in my head, it was this kind of like poetic, kind of Rapunzel type scenario. So I went to the house, you know, painted I loved you above a bedroom window. Uh, <laughs> didn't get her back, unfortunately. But you know, from that kind of year, a few, a few years along the line, uh, these pieces came out of it. I don't really usually listen to advice. Do you know what I mean? Hence, uh, hence the intensity of my work and kind of, you know, uh, some of the, the stuff I come up with. So the best bit of advice I would give myself is to start taking the advice of people that know much more about the world than I do because, you know, I certainly don't know everything. I've kept saying to people after this show, what I need now is a holiday and go and like, lay in the sun for, for two weeks. But I know for a fact, as soon as I hit the sun lounger, my head's straight onto the, you know, it's, it's a 24-7 occupation, mentally, more than physically.